everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Avion 4 Shadow of the Mist. And if you remember last time we were playing, we got horribly stuck in this area. So you know what I did off screen? I went and I ran through this section of the woods here and I got everything that was down here. So there were a couple more gold bags, one that had 1500 gold, which was really good for helping me reach my goal because now step over here I'll show you we finally have all of everyone's stuff in here so everyone is fully emerald eyes here with all the new emerald items so we are good to go and I also looked up a couple things in the strategy guide for how to do the next part because this next area up here with the vault is very uh, closely related to what we did when we were in um, Fourth Wrong's dungeon, so we'll be doing a little bit of uh, activity like that, or picking up things, returning to old places, putting things down, picking them up again, running around like chickens with our heads cut off. So, even though it says the vault's north, the way to get to it is down this way. So I will show you, because we have not even seen the actual vault yet, mainly because the enemies in here were so difficult for me. But now that we have leveled up and we have the proper armor for this area, it really shouldn't be a problem. So here's hoping anyway. I oh, wish we could get through that way, but that area over there is where we need to go next, over here to the left. So first we'll need to fight these guys, which are pretty scary. So hopefully it will be alright. I'm getting a little bit better at battling these guys now, so we shall see how well I'm doing. And I also switched back to Mist and Ingrid too, which helps a little bit. I think I might swap out Mist for Rowan to level her up as well. But for right now, I'm just gonna keep my fabulous four here. Mine is Robin, because the only bad thing about Robin is you can't really control who he attacks. And that can be very daunting, especially when you're trying to whittle down like one specific enemy at a time. Like with each of, as you can see I'm using the attacks that specifically focus on one character and I'm trying not to use a lot of my MP while I'm doing this. Ah! Although, I'm not doing as well as I was doing in the area below, but this area the monsters are slightly higher than the mushrooms before you get to Delamere, so. And I don't think I have any Cassie leaves, so I think we might have to go back to town and get some, because I will definitely need some for this area. If this is any indication of how well I'm going to do today. <laughs> so this area is really becoming a pain in the butt for me. Just because I feel like this is the first time where I've actually really felt that I'm horribly underleveled. Even though I've been doing a lot to do a lot of side quests and to grind in a lot of areas. Wow, this guy's just like... I'm like wailing away on him doing nothing. Okay, hold on here. We're gonna do Dark Triumph on him. I've been trying to be conservative with this, but there comes a point where you really just gotta do it. <laughs> There we go. Come on, dude. You gotta be going down sometime. Jeez. There we go. Unfortunately for Miss, because I do not have any more Cassia leaves, so... Oh, and I was... Ah, oh, shit. This place is definitely a maze. I'm at least trying to find the vault, so it's the next place I have to go. To be honest, the map in the strategy guide is extremely confusing. Oh, you know what? Okay, we're gonna switch out Mist. Oh, wait, let's see. Gotta go. Oh, I gotta use the party, men the party menu like this. Right, we'll swap her out for Rowan. Because she's the lowest level. Her brewer is pretty low as well, so. Robin's fine. Jeez, this guy's just. You wanna fight me? Come on, let's dance. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, we're gonna dark triumph. We're gonna focus on rejuvenation, which does a higher level healing on one person. So we're gonna do that. Uh, we'll do clobber so we can focus the attack. And we'll just do putting him high. Because it's fun. Which I mean, for how much damage it actually does, and there with Ingrid. 
I don't know why it costs so much money to buy this spell. Because, I mean, maybe it gets better as my level gets higher, and the fact that I'm playing on hard mode, but it just doesn't seem like it was worth like a thousand gold for it. Uh, just grind on this. Oh, I do have. Okay, I have two chaos leaves, so. Well. I can't lose both my good spellcasters, so I'm gonna bring Ingrid back to life. Let me try Gadget. Oh, I did not. Well, there's another person, especially not Haburu. Okay. I did Contempt on this one. Rejuvenate on Ingrid. Oh, jeez. Never use. Yeah, 15% HP, that just seems like such a small amount. I have all this stuff that I just have no use for. We'll use the Hexabred. On a brew, let's see. Yeah, well, my ball. On this guy. We've actually got a bit of rep reprieve since the other mushroom down there is paralyzed, so that's why I'm focusing on this one. Because I believe if you attack it while it's paralyzed, it will become unparalyzed again. Which seems kind of weird, but, you know, that's how it goes. This is actually helping me so much. There we go. Okay, this time he's not getting unparalyzed, but I will take it. I will take it, game. Oh, there he goes. I'm gonna rejuvenate oil, clobber again, wand again. And I just need a lot more healing items too. But at least we're getting a fair amount of XP for our troubles in here. Okay, I believe it's this. Oh, wait, there's one more corpse right here. Okay, so this is what was throwing me off before. Is there's a little tiny path in here? Guys, ah, uh, all right. Let's see what I got. If I got anything left? I should probably use it. Oh, except my mushroom soup. All right, use a spice plum on Ingrid. You're worth it, Ingrid, because I love you. You're the best. Okay. Ah. Oh God, I can't believe that actually worked when I got by them. That looks like you should be able to cross, but you cannot. Oh geez. Why was I even put there? Some of the mapping I do not understand. Is that some kind of mushroom there? Okay, well, I can't explore it too closely here because here we are. Okay. Alright, the vault's either up here. I think it's up here or it's that way. Yes, here we go. This is it. The ancient library. I spent a lot of time here as a child. I'd pretend I was an explorer investigating faraway lands. And now it's come true! I suppose it has. Let's go inside. It's locked. So how do you usually get in? This place hasn't been locked for years. We used to come and go as we pleased. So how do we unlock it? I'm pretty sure I know who did this. Miles? Uh-oh. Alright, well, we'll be back. Let me check. Ah, yes, there is a little pile here for Miss to investigate. Oh, a cheeky! How wonderful. Oh, there's a lever! Oh my gosh, that'll make it so much easier to get over here. And there is a... Oh, good, there's all kinds of goodies over here. Another mystery item. Yeah, let's see where this mysterious bridge takes us. Hopefully to one of the other houses up here. I think. Or it might, it might be some kind of shortcut. Yeah, I think this is the thief's house over here. Yeah, awesome. Okay, that'll help us out a lot. I don't want to take the long way around anymore. Anyway, we are going back over there to investigate that weird mushroom that I saw. Oh man, I wish we had a quick way to get out of this forest so I could... Get back to Delamere and heal. 
part of it's just like the time it takes for me to like walk all the way back and then not get horrendously lost which is more likely to happen to me and because I went inside now all the monsters have respawned goody goody gosh that's just wonderful I'm gonna try to avoid some okay I'm gonna see if this one's one I can pick up okay it's not so I saw it and I thought I could pick it up but I could not so that area must have been a dead end all right, well, we're gonna go and head out and talk to Mileson because there's no point in sticking around in here since we can't do anything inside the vault until we have his key. Whoa! I'm taking so many big chances in here. And then while we're back in town, now that I have a little bit of money, we're definitely gonna stock up on cassia leaves if nothing else. And probably some more hexa bread because it is doing 400. And now that I have better uh, armor to help protect me, it should be a lot easier to get through that area. And hopefully we won't have to do too much back and forth. I studied the strategy guide so we don't have like, oh, it's, it's just not worth it. Like this area is just too big. Like it was one thing when it was Forthright's dungeon, but in a map this big to have you doing a quest where you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and having like high level enemies, it's just too much. Like I can't handle it, Amanda, I'm sorry. <laughs> just gotta use the strategy guide. I only have one life and I don't want to spend all of it playing this game. <laughs> oh geez, because it would probably take me like longer than I did with that Undyne video to get through it and you guys don't want to see that. It'll just be me screaming half the time. <laughs> well maybe not screaming but you get the idea. <laughs> Anyway, now we have 378 gold, so hopefully that's enough to get us something at the general store over here. Which I believe was up here somewhere. Yes, there it is. Over here. Now let's see what we can purchase with our little bit of gold. Yes, we are very hungry. Okay, so the hexabred's only 70, but we definitely need... <laughs> We need more of these. We need like 15 of these. I go through these like ketchup and that leaves us with no money left. <laughs> One more for the road and even 16. I like the way you think. All right. In that case, we're out of here and back into the- oh yeah, we need to find Miles, which I'm guessing he must be in the house over here. On Wen's house. I hope I'm saying her name correctly. I never know how to do elven pronunciations because they're always very strange. And I know every game pronounces things like that differently, so we shall see. I'm not sure where we can find Miles, so I'm gonna ask on Wen where he is. I'm glad you're back. I might not have to be staying that long. I don't know. She doesn't know. Okay. I was hoping we might get our cutscene with him. Oh, a cheeky! I'm not sure how we missed you, little cheeky. I'm glad we came up here, though. Alright, so where is Miles? Well, considering there's that house over there that Rowan didn't want to go into, this is probably a good idea to go over there and see if now is the time that we can enter in. It is the time for us to enter in. Ooh, I wonder if they had some kind of... Could they be related? Oh, I don't know. They don't seem very familiarly related. Hmm. This is interesting. What do you want now, Rowan? Ugh. Why did you lock the vault, Miles? Monsters. Hellspawn. What? They came for the ancient secrets, so I locked them in there. What? <laughs> That's a terrible idea. I told you nothing good would come from digging up the past. Could you just give me the key? We need the manual to the rickety biscuit. You've caused enough trouble digging through those vaults. I won't expose our people to the curses of the past just so you can disappear with our ship. They might all trust you, but I don't. So be it. And how are you sleeping? <laughs> no! Ow, I'm sorry. You're still doing it! I thought I said something. Keep it to yourself. You get people the creeps doing that. It's true. The glowy eyes are very disturbing. Forget it. Let's go. Oh no, now what are we gonna do? I have a bad feeling about Miles. Yeah, I think he's up to something. 
conspiring with demons, perhaps? I don't know. I think Miles may be just troubled right now. If you start with your dream raining nonsense again, we're taking you back to the shrimps. I'll be quiet. <laughs> I'm sure he's not up to anything. He's just being disagreeable. Oh, it's a bat. Ingrid, watch out. Oh, there you are. Oh, it's Boyle. Do you have the key? Of course I have it. <laughs> when did you learn that? Right now! <laughs> <laughs> Quick, let's go before Miles notices that the key is missing. Back to the vault. Alright, we're out of here then. <laughs> Oh, Ingrid. That's why I love Ingrid. Why, thank you! <laughs> Alright. Now if I can remember my way back to the vault, this should be fun. Actually, now that we have that bridge in there, I shouldn't need to take that weird alternate route from the south. So let's take the one that's the easy way from the top here. And honestly, I really shouldn't be avoiding these battles, but I'm going to for right now, at least until we can get the next part of this done, because we have just spent way too much time wandering around battling everything lately, and we need to move this along. So I think we can just approach up this way, and then go down from the top. I also don't want to get horribly lost in here, which has definitely been a problem. Alright, I think I'm going there. Yes, yes, because there's the bridge. Okay. We're good now. Oh, I'm so glad I found this little lever. That saves me so much. Did it just... Oh, look at that! The bridge disappears. Oh, that's really strange. I have no idea why it did that. That's really cool. Alright, now we can get in here. And as you can see, there are definitely enemies wandering around. So we won't take up too much time. See, an archer and a thief met in the night for a secret rendezvous. Okay. Oh, here's another card. It's the archer card. That's right. We'll need to place the right cards on this table. We should check the book for a hint. Oh, I see. So, it says... The archer and the thief met in the night for a secret rendezvous. So, we will need to place a card... Should we just put the thief and the archer? Hey! That's not too bad. Okay. Now, um, I do know that we need to pick them up every time we use them because we will need to move them to other locations. These aren't the books we're looking for. Okay. I'm gonna be very careful avoiding these guys here. At least these uh, enemies aren't following me. gonna look at these just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Now I wonder what this is. Okay, I can't do anything with it. Whoop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was probably gonna happen. Alright, I'm gonna be very careful with these enemies because we have not seen them before. So we're definitely unleashing a gray skulltone. Okay, we're gonna unleash Dark Triumph. We're gonna chant because everyone's full right now. And we're gonna gadget because everyone's full right now. And I'm just gonna unleash all my best stuff on them. So we'll do we'll do mud ball too. Let's see how well that does. Oh, that does great. Ooh, they can cast ice. Alright, let's see if this can defeat him. Oh wow. Ooh. See, that's the thing, it's like steel makes the sound like you've taken gold, but I think it's only successful when it gives you a pop-up that shows you what you've actually gotten. So I think we've only been successful once so far, which is kind of strange. Um, I'm gonna heal Boil, I think, and we'll clobber, and we did a lot of good with the mud ball, so we'll do that one again. Man, if I could buy like a mud ball 3 spell, that would make me very happy. E. 
Unfortunately, I haven't really seen like much use for Ingrid's transformations other than like when we've had quests that specifically rely on them. I haven't really used them in battle all that much. Oh, Ingrid got a level up. How wonderful. Ooh, and I see a green chest, which as everyone knows is the best chest in these games. Ooh, an empowered wrench. Well, I think I know who this belongs to. It's to vote for Miss Rowan. Ooh, wow. 40 more strength. That's great. That's spectacular. Alright, let's see. Well, there's clearly some kind of doorway here. But I can't... I can't, like, get onto this or move it. So I'm guessing that the game will move it when I've done something to activate it. I'm gonna go and fight this guy too. Although I am a little bit low, so I will be a little bit careful here. Uh, actually, I'll have Haburu do a restore on everyone else. And... We'll do Higgledy Piggledy and see how that does on these guys. <laughs> Yeah, it honestly really doesn't do that much damage. Like, Mudball does so much more damage. Although I could see it being very useful on just a singular enemy, though. Okay, we're gonna rejuvenate on Rowan. And Clobber. And we'll do Mudball. On this gray Scully layer. Wow, this guy's definitely a lot tougher than the Skull Tons. By just a bit, it seems, but tougher enough that there weren't two over here. Alright, well, let's see what's in here. Oh, there's one more in here. Avoid him just a moment. And we got a thief key! Oh, that'll open the thief house. Now we'll fight him. This guy shouldn't be too bad now that we know what to expect. Rejuvenate Rowan. Clobber. Wood ball. There we go. Ooh, Haburu's looking a little low on HP here. Alright, let's see. We need to save up a little bit more for Dark Triumph, so we'll use the staff. Rejuvenate on ourselves for Haburu. Clobber. And we'll mud ball again. We have just enough for one more mud ball, so hopefully this will finish him off. Yeah, there we go. Yes, excellent. Ooh, level 37 for Boyle. We're almost in the 40s now. Doing pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna definitely use a cubby bomb on Miss Ingrid. She's our only MP user. Actually, I might use another. There we go. We still got a ways to go in here. Let's see if this has changed pages now. No. Okay. So we need to go into the thief's house. So to get to the thief's house, the easy way is back up here. Via our little secret bridge, which randomly appears. That's pretty funny. I'm not sure what's causing that on the map. It's very strange. Either way, here we are at the thief's house which we can unlock now. And the thief pays the archer a hefty sum and vanishes into the night. Okay. Orb of pettiness. Ooh. What we got here? A poison card. Hopefully one of these is a money card. Chapter 2. Okay. We can add this to the book back in the vault. Oh, okay. So we'll need to go back to the vault next. If I could solve this, I can get that chest. So let's put the thief and the archer. And what did it say? Hefty sum. Oh, we don't have a money card. Hmm. So I would imagine that would be what we would put here. So I will take these back. I'm not sure what else we can do. In fact, I think the next thing I'm gonna do is head back to the vault again and see if we can put the chapter two into the book. See if we can get another card. 
Because I don't believe... I, I know there are other houses on the map, but I believe they're all locked as well. So until we get another key for, like, the archer house or for one of the other houses, then we'll just have to deal with putting the chapters in here and see if we can get a card in here. Oh, here we go. The archer fires an arrow at the king, felling him with one blow. Oh, I see, but we do not have... We do not have a king card, so we cannot do this one yet. Although we do have the arrow card, so we need to find the king card. And we'll need to find chapter three, I'm supposing, to do the yellow door on the end there. So with this, now we must find, I'm guessing, uh, one of the other houses. So we will go looking and see what we can find here. In fact, I'm going to check that real quick in the strategy guide. I'll be right back. Alright, you guys. I am back and I looked on the map again in the strategy guide and all four of these houses are all at the top of the map where we are right now. So I'm going to start with the two houses on this side and see which ones these ones are because they are not labeled on the map, unfortunately. And... Oh wait, this one's the thief one, correct? Yes, this is the thief house. Okay. There's one more showing above it here on the map. Oh, you're there. I need to go. I need to go further over. That's right, because the uh, the vault is in the center of the map. Okay. So we go this way. So there's a house here. Which is open to us at the moment. Ah, oh, yes! This is one of the ones we opened earlier. The archer applies drake fang poison to the tips of his arrows in preparation for tomorrow's battle. Okay, so I think we should just need the archer, the arrow, and the poison. There we go. I'll pick them up. Always want to pick them up after placing them. Okay, so this one isn't nearly as bad as fourth round. Now that we know where the vault is, and now that we have an easy access to it, this isn't so bad at all. Ah, now we have the king card, so we can return and do the one with the king now. But I'm gonna look up here first and access this house if we can. Let's see. House of the Beggar. It's locked. Okay, so we will return with the key for this one later. Ooh, actually, I wonder if we explored this way. Oh, I'm being so bold right now. Let's see. Yes, I believe we have. This is all stuff we've seen before. So I've gotten the chests over here. Oh, and I believe this is... Yeah, this is a dead end right here. Yeah, this place is... It, if you can see it like zoomed out one more level, I don't think it'd be such a maze in here, but it, from the vantage point I have currently, it can be a bit of a maze if you're not prepared. And it so looks like when you're down here that these guys are like right about to attack you, even though they're like up on this plane. As you can see, we cannot interact with each other. It looks like they're just walking outside the house. Okay, so the last house is all the way on the left side of the map, so we're going to head that way and double check it to make sure we aren't missing anything. Hopefully we're not missing anything. We shall see. We shall see. Here it is. I'll see which house this is. This is the house of the king. It's also locked, so we'll need a key for this one as well. So I believe we can go back to the house of the archer and complete the... Oh wait, or do we need to... Let's check the one here. I think we have to complete the one in the vault. Next. Oh. <laughs> yes. Archer fires an arrow at the king. So the archer. The arrow. Leave it. Okay, and then the king. 
There we go. Oh, I'm on the right. Well, okay, let's pick up the cards before we forget. We just gotta pick up your cards. There we go. And hopefully we have a key in here. We have the king key. We need we know where to go with that, so we're going to fight these guys in here. Hopefully it shouldn't be too hard. We're a little low, so I'm gonna be a little bit careful. We'll try gadget and see what that does. And we'll mud ball the gray skulls in here. This should take him out, hopefully. There we go. Oh, that time we were successful. Let's just see how well we do with our regular attacks here. Not too bad. Okay. Let's see. Rejuvenate foil. Clobber. Mud ball him. I see the Rowan's getting down too, so we'll target her for healing the next round. There we go. <laughs> you must defeat my gadgets to stand a chance. <laughs> oh, yay! She's 28 now. Excellent. We're almost up to the 30s. Alright, so now we have the king key, so we can return to the king's house. was the one in the corner up here on the left I believe hopefully I'm right <laughs> my short term memory is not that great but I do try <laughs> if not my process of elimination will be on the other side awesome alright we have yet another page the king has a vision and offers to trade clothes with the beggar the beggar hastily accepts. Okay. Chapter 3. Excellent. Gold card. Ah yes, we can use that gold card now. In fact, let's see what cards we have. We need the beggar card in order to complete this one. We do not have the beggar yet, so we will head towards the beggar's house. Which is all the way around the other side. We also have chapter 3, so while we're passing by the vault, we'll go ahead and drop it back in there as well. Thankfully there aren't too many enemies along this upper road here, which is nice. Because I think going in and out, in and out, in and out could really kill you. Because every time we're going in and out here, everything is fully respawning. So now we shall place chapter 3. The thief moves into the castle and steals the crown off the king's head. So thief, crown, king. We definitely do not have the crown card yet, so we will come back when we do have that one. But now we know what to look out for, so now I believe we'll go to the house of the beggar. So we'll pass by the archer's house, which is the first one that we come to here. And then it's either this one? I believe it's this one. This is the one we need. Oh no, we've already solved this puzzle. Yes, okay, so it's the one up on the, the ladder here. The archer, okay, yeah, the beggar's the one that's up here. Oh, it's locked! Oh, we need another key? No, we definitely know the key, because the key does automatically. Okay, well, then we will head back to the first house then. Which was the thief house? Yes. And we will see what is there. There must be a puzzle to solve in here then. Yes, this is the one. The thief pays a hefty sum and vanishes into the night. Okay, so thief. Thief card. The gold is for the hefty sum. Gold card. And he pays it to the archer. There we go. 
crown card. You guys know where we need to go with this. We need to return back to the vault. So off we go. <laughs> yeah, this is just a lot of back and forth right here. I kind of wish there was a back entrance to the vault as well. Alright, so Thief, Crown, King. We got this. Oh no! I placed the cards, but I left them in the house. Cardinal rule number one, always pick up the cards. Alright, well now we gotta go back there. Actually, you guys know where it's at. I'll meet you there in a second. Alright, here we are. Now we can get the cards. I was so diligent about taking these cards before. I guess I got a little bit lazy and got so excited to finally get the crown card. <laughs> I just want to be done with this area. Ugh. I do like it, but it's just it's just a lot of back and forth. I seem to be spending all my time just walking around here. Alright. So I do like the puzzles. I just kind of wish puzzles were all contained in a single house. Alright, so now we need, um, oh wait, now I don't remember what the stupid thing is. The thief, the crown, the king. Okay. Okay. So, thief, crown, king. Done. Alright. We forget. King, crown, thief. Okay, got all the cards now. Let's see what's in here. It's the key to the beggar's house. And there's two enemies. So take them out. Hostess. Rejuvenate Rowan. Lover. We will mud ball. Well, I'm gray skulls in here. Take him out. Oh, almost got him. There we go. Everybody go on him here. to heal her. Alright, we have another turn, so we will rejuvenate boil. Lobber, one. I'm, I could use a more powerful attack, but I wanted to heal everyone up a little bit, so that's why I was using smaller attacks. Ooh, and a burrow's finally at 30. This is great. All right, well now we have the key to the beggar's house, and now we can return and go that way. Doo -doo -doo, here we go. Down this way. And it's the one that's up here, so it's the archer's house. Here we go. Dang it, mushrooms! <laughs> Always in my way. Ooh. Heirloom Athame. Ooh, for Ingrid. Chapter 4. The beggar card. Ooh, well, we didn't have another portal in there. Well, we must head back to the vault. Oh, perhaps now the bookshelf will move. We shall see. Oh, it's also possible there's another place where we could place the bigger card. Okay, so a beggar unleashes a concealed dagger on the thief, slaying him. Okay, so 
bigger. Oh no, we don't have a dagger card yet. Alright, well I guess we're heading back to the king's house then? Okay. Because we do not have a dagger card. You guys thought I was joking about the back and forth, huh? Alright, yes. This is the one. So for this one, King Clothes Beggar? Okay. Uh, I don't... Just king and beggar. It was okay. Dagger. There we go. Now we're good. Oh wait. Heh. See, I almost ran off, and you need these ones. There we go. We definitely do. All right, back to the vault. This should be the last one we have to do. Hopefully. I said that last time. <laughs> Oh, this is just craziness. I can see why they put the the walkway on here now, because otherwise I'd be just I'd be running around and battling at the same time. It makes sense why they're all located on the northern part of the map too. Okay, the beggar unleashes a dagger on the thief. Okay, so beggar. Oops, it's poison, sorry. Oh, there he is. Baker. Dagger. And the thief card. There we go. That bookshelf just went crazy. I'm gonna pick these up just in case I need them for something. Because you never know. There could be more things in here. I doubt it, but you never know. Oh, a giant tome! Wow, that's like as big as Boyle. Look at this! That's why I don't read books. They're impossible to follow. I agree. <laughs> Back to the vault. Alright. So this book was the only thing that's in here? Solving the puzzle seems to grant the knowledge that the solver wanted most. In the past, I got different books. Like what? Like adult fiction mostly, but sometimes other things. It was quite a few years ago. How long will it take to read? We can come back later. Let's take it back to the inn. I like to read in bed. I'll be done by the morning. Okay. <laughs> oh, they teleported me. Thank you, game. <laughs> so she's just gonna be reading all night. Oh, she's taking a break. Just creeping on Miles? Oh, there's a blue. I don't only read dreams, you know. Eee! Kaburu, what are you doing here? I'm also a reader of people. What are you talking about? He is troubled, Rowan. Nightmares haunt him. If I don't see him, the corruption will not let go. He will suffer forever. I have no place in that house anymore. I too left my home to seek greater fulfillment. Regardless, we must help him. It's the least we can do. What are you doing here? I'm sorry for the trouble I've caused. I really wanted to avoid all of this. Of course you did. You avoid everything. Please, Miles. Can I see him? Why? So you can leave again? Are you really that selfish that you would do that to him? I wasn't going to come in, but he's having nightmares. Only because he went snooping around in those vaults, I told you we shouldn't have never gone in there. He's been corrupted. Herburu can heal him, but only if you let us. 
I'm the one who's supposed to protect him. I'm the one who stayed. You do protect him, but this is my fault. Let me fix it. Fine. But I want you to leave as soon as you're done. Oh. Hey there, buddy. Who are you? I'm... I'm just an adventurer. Really? My mom is an adventurer too. Have you met her? <gasps> so were you guys like married and that's your little boy? Oh my god. That's so sad. I could have. What does she look like? My dad says she was the most beautiful elf in Delamere. She's busy saving the world all the time, so she never gets to come home. I'm going to be an adventurer when I get big, too. Then I'm going to find my mom and help her save the world. Why are you crying? Are you sad? Oh, it's, it's nothing. Listen, if you want to be an adventurer, you have to be brave. I'm brave. You have to be ready at a moment's notice. The call to adventure always comes when you least expect it. I'm always ready! Well then, would you like to go on an adventure with me right now? Really? I'm going somewhere very scary and I need somebody brave to come along and keep me safe. I go on scary adventures all the time, but only when I'm asleep. Sometimes those are the most dangerous adventures of all. Come on, let's go! Wait a minute, Rowan. I need to know why you did it. Did what? That curse wasn't intended for you, but you just happened to get in the way at the last second. I never understood why you did it. I had to leave anyway. There's too much out there in the world to see. My call to adventure came sooner than I had hoped, but I had to take it. If it meant I could save somebody else from a life of slavery at the same time, all the better. Did you even think about me? Of course I did! All those days we spent exploring the vaults, I thought we'd live a life of adventure together. But after the wedding, everything changed. You changed. I thought it could change too, but I couldn't. I didn't want this life. I thought we'd explore the world just like we did the vaults. The vaults. I always hated that place. Then why did you explore them with me? Why do you think? I'm sorry it turned out like this. So am I. Oh, that's so sad. What took you so long? I was just catching up with your dad. Are you two friends? We used to be. Are you ready to go now? Brewer was telling me about our adventure. We have to fight a corruption. Ready when you are. I hope Ingrid isn't around. <laughs> How do you do it those freaky eyes again? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's this place? This is the dream realm. We need to find the corruption before we can fight it. Like a treasure hunt! Yes. <laughs> a deadly treasure hunt. In your dreams, literally. <laughs> Oh man, we just- oh jeez, I'm so glad I leveled up these guys. That would have been horrible if I had not done so. Oh, hopefully they're strong enough to take on a dream bear. The regular bears in the real world are bad enough without being a dream world bear. Oh good. Sheesh. We are gonna be fine, I think. Just a blank platform. Oh, goodness gracious, there are three of them. YOLO. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. We're gonna rejuvenate Rowan. Oh, Bandage Bot helps too. It's okay, that helps. Ah, it's alright. Alright, we're gonna clobber. We'll start at the one at the top and work our way down. 
Oh, this is gonna take forever, these guys. Well, hopefully not. We shall see. Alright, it's the same as before. I must have uh, Rowan keep clobbering and Haburu keep chanting. And then, when necessary, I'll have Haburu switch back to rejuvenate to do a heavier heal on either of them. So hopefully between the two of them we should be okay. Thankfully these guys aren't doing that much damage on us, so thank goodness I decided to fully equip everyone in the party, because I think otherwise we'd probably be having a serious problem in here right now. Yay! Alright. See what all's in here. Ooh, there's a health spot. Ooh, a dragon. Let's fight the dragon here. Yeah, it's funny. I actually think the dream world has more healing spots than the real world, which is really strange. Oh wow, that only did one damage to us. Yeah, it's like doing nothing. Wow, well that's good to know. Sorry to wake you. But we're getting a lot of gold, so it's definitely worth it. Uh, might as well use it while we're here. There's usually like a ton of these guys in here. Let's see. I love the background for Parallax in here. It's so pretty. It's like a little galaxy. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll chant again. I decided to have her do her gadget or something different. Bandage bot. Why is it always this bandage bot when I don't need it? Ugh. I guess the dream bear wasn't carrying any loose change. <laughs> yeah, these fights aren't gonna be very interesting, I think. We're basically just going back and forth and it just takes us forever. I would almost want to have the battle be shorter and have us get the same amount of XP just to speed things along a little bit, but it's all good. I see there's a healing spot down there. This dream dragon shouldn't be too bad of a problem here. Considering it does absolutely nothing on us. I imagine this is probably how a lot of the enemies would be at this point if I was playing on casual mode. Although I've been thinking about it and I've decided that uh, when I do play through the other Avion games, if I get the choice, I'm just gonna go with easy mode on them because I've already played them before, so I think it would just be too much of a hassle just to have to spend as much time as I am on this one because I think that's what's making this game so long is the fact that there is the extra challenge added to it. And it is fun, but... Oh, I walked, like, right through it. Oh, yeah, you have to be, like, at the center of the bear. Or at the front, I guess. That's really weird. I guess they're just so large that they take up more than one space on the map. Which is probably why so many of those enemies were made very tall in Delamere. So it's mostly that you just be walking behind them instead of uh, like this where it's sideways so you would be able to access it if that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even having to think about the battles at this point. Oh, level 30 for Rowan! I think we've got both of them up in level 30 now. Yes, we do. Unfortunately, we can't check the rest of the party, but we should be fine. Ah, here we go. This is the creature that we saw. Don't worry, we're right behind you. Remember, it's just a dream. Alright, well, anything else to look at in here? Maybe some secrets? Oh. Ah, I don't want to get stuck in there for sure. Alright. Ah, we should be fine. Hopefully. Alright, uh, we'll start off with Clobber, we'll rejuvenate. So 
see how bad. Oh, he doesn't attack too hard, but I'm not gonna underestimate him for sure. Chant really does come in handy since it not only does damage on the enemy, but it heals you a little bit too. Which is extremely useful. Wow, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. And uh, there goes those random explosions everywhere. <laughs> We did it! We have defeated him! That was so much fun! Do you think I could come along with you guys on your adventures? Sorry, little guy. You have to stay here and look after your dad. He won't mind. Don't worry. Your time will come. Okay. But if you ever see my mom, can you tell her where I live? Maybe if she's not busy, she can come say hi. Of course. I have a feeling she'll come visit you real soon. You should get back to bed now. Hi! Thanks again! Aww. Thanks for everything, Ibru. I'll pay you myself for this one. Keep your money. I'm still just a beginner, after all. Aww. I wanted to ask you. You said your decision to travel was not common for your people. So why did you do it? There's too much I don't know. And I'm not going to find it at home. It's comforting to meet somebody else like me. I was beginning to think I might be insane. That makes two of us. Aww. Super cute. I finished reading the book. Let's go reclaim our ship. All right, the rickety biscuit. That was a giant manual for a ship, I have to say. And actually, we are going to board the rickety biscuit next time on Let's Play Avion 4 Shadow of the Mist. Look forward to it, everyone. This is Bubbly Oasis signing off. Oh, Rowan had a son. He's so cute. I wish he could come with us, but he should not. He should stay home where it's safe. Oh man, I'm gonna check out all the places and see what this place is. <gasps> oh god, oh thank god, we can- I was like, no! I was so scared when the boat ran off into nowhere, I was like, Rowan, why?!